Hey guys, it's John P. with GeekBeat. We're still doing our CES coverage live here at 2014. We've, we are at the Samsung booth. We'll call it a booth. It's not quite a booth, but it's definitely a table. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to take a look at a bunch of new IP-enabled cameras. We've got Mike here from Samsung. Thanks for joining me. You're very welcome. So uh, I think a lot of people, uh, certainly everybody's heard of camera systems that you hook up and view remotely, but there's differences between uh, you know, IP type cameras and others. Can you just kind of give us a little overview of how those things differ? Sure, absolutely. So essentially, you have uh, a couple of different types of uh, video surveillance systems. One is a video surveillance kit, if you will. It's an analog system that has a number of cameras and a DVR that has um, a, a hard drive. And that's more for a um, a very heavy duty, more, um, you want to have evidence of something that happened, it's a more robust solution. Industrial kind of, you know. Yeah, it's, it's more for, um, like I said, more for forensic, so if something does happen, it's recording a, a long time, that kind of a thing. Um, with the IP cameras, the nice part about it is, it allows uh, flexibility of, of placement, so as long as the camera's within the range of the uh, Wi-Fi signal, you can uh, set it up anywhere you want, all it needs is power, and also, you can view it on any mobile device, and the installation is, uh, on our cameras at least, very simple and easy for an average homeowner. Nice, okay, so this would be good if we wanted to put these around the house or a small business and be able to just log on with our iPhone or Android phone and just see what's going on at any time, anywhere. Absolutely, we have free apps for iPhone and Android. Um, and again, there's no, and the nice thing about it is there's no monthly fee or any other fees associated. Once you buy the I like that. Yeah, everybody likes free. Uh, when you buy the product, uh, you basically just download our free app and you're all good to go. We do have a partnership with a company called iWatch Life, which does have cloud storage. And if you want to pay for that extra service, you can do that certainly. But our core product is, again, free of charge. Cool. Okay, let's talk about core products because I see a whole selection, a range of them here. Um, we've got, t tell us about them. So we've got, like, sure. what, three different cameras? Sure. So essentially, we've got. Uh, indoor and outdoor cameras. Uh, the indoor cameras, uh, you've got the HD Pro, which okay. is... Um, that's our, this one? Our, yes, exactly, that's the uh, HD Pro. Uh, the, that is available next month uh, in February. Essentially, it's got a proprietary Samsung chipset built into it that allows for things like advanced motion detection. So a lot of IP cameras have motion detection, audio detection, but you get a lot of false positives. So it's really not helpful or useful. With the proprietary chipset that we have, you're only going to get notified if there's something really happening, like a person walks in the room, or your pet enters the room, or things like that. So gotcha. it's very useful. It also has things like wide dynamic range. So a lot of times people place these facing a window or a door. Yeah, and then it washes everything out. Exactly. So essentially, with the wide dynamic range, it'll video outside and inside the window, match the two, and give you a very clear view outside the window, through the window. Oh, wow. I'd like to see that. I, that's that's hard. Hard to do. Yeah, and then all of the cameras have a 128 degree field of view, which is a very wide uh, angle to, to be able to see everything. Uh, they all have micro SD card slots built in, so you have recording capability. How big of a card can I put in there? The HD Pro has a 64 gigabyte, and the other two, the outdoor and the HD, are 32. Okay. And essentially, uh, that will allow you to not only record, but you can actually view that from your, from the app, uh, from your mobile device. So if something happens, you can actually go to the app and, and view the, the micro SD card. Awesome. Okay, so that's this one. Now what we've got two others. What tell us about these two? So we've got the HD, which again, different form factor, a little slimmer, smaller, easy to place, um, a little less features than the HD Pro. Uh, but of course, a little less of a price point. Gotcha. Oh, and what, then, was, what were the price points, by the way, on these two? So the HD Pro is 189. Okay. Available February. HD is 179. Available in March. Okay. And, and then we have the outdoor. Now the outdoor, it's an interesting. You know, people want to see probably more so than inside what's going on outside their home. Yeah. Well, I mean, if the burglars are out there or something, you know, or the dog or exactly. whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, would, would, would this allow and and. Being in an outdoor environment with IP presents a couple of problems. One is power. Most people yeah. don't have power readily available. The other problem is the Wi-Fi signal. So you've got an exterior wall with stucco and insulation. So Wait, let me guess. 
So I get to put this piece inside and then run the cable out there to that one? Exactly. So oh, that's brilliant. We've essentially separated the camera and the lens from the actual Wi-Fi module and the power which goes inside the home. Nice. So you don't have to worry. And the camera itself is completely weatherproof. You can put it anywhere you want. And as you can see, it's a very small, discreet design. Yeah. If you put it by your front door, you might not even notice it. And that has a 50 feet of uh, night vision built in, and the indoor cameras have 20 feet. Nice. Well, that is awesome. And one last question on the outdoor module. How long is this cable? Looks like maybe around 30 feet or something. I don't know. It's exactly 30 feet. How about that? I've been, I've been handling a lot of cables, I guess. You're an expert already. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Mike. We'll look forward to getting our hands on some of these, and we'll bring you guys a full review as soon as we can get them. That's it for right now. Stay tuned. Even more coverage coming out of CES, youtube.com forward slash geekbeat. And thanks to our sponsors. Have a good one, guys. Bye.